Running means one thing. You get to eat whatever you want. All the cookies, donuts, and cakes. Because you're burning it all off anyway, right? Unfortunately, not. If you keep going this way, you'll end up a right porker. Or at the other extreme, you'll start to wither away. I myself have struggled with getting the balance just right. Over the years I've been running, I've pinpointed all the issues I've come across into three main mistakes. Firstly, you can't just eat whatever you want. My early years of training consisted of very unstructured bodybuilding. Back then, I suffered from lack of knowledge, not only with training, but equally in nutrition. When I'd go ahead and attempt to bulk, I'd just go into the eat everything mindset. Unfortunately, when I started running, this outlook also carried over. I'd end up stuffing my face constantly, thinking the calories were simply getting burned while I was running, and I'd stay relatively lean. And this was so far from the truth. I ended up massing on so much unnecessary weight that despite really good strength gains, my running took a huge hit. Not to mention how fluffy I was looking at the time. Now this is such a common beginner mistake and it's one I had to experience firsthand. So what did I do differently to fix this problem? A complete mindset change is necessary. Now it is useful to view food as fuel, but only to a certain extent. We shouldn't be trying to fuel ourselves with cakes and biscuits. Fuel in your body is like fuel in your car. If you fill it with crap, your performance will be crap. If you put in high quality fuel, you'll not only feel better, but also perform better. And if you are finding this video useful so far, don't forget to leave a like below. Okay, secondly, neglecting carbs and electrolytes. Funnily enough, I still get this wrong today. You might have seen my past video covering the Three Peaks Challenge. In that video, I ended up breaking down towards the end of the run due to poor fueling. Maybe this is an exception because I actually left my nutrition vest in the car. Anyways, how the story goes is I ended up right at the end of the run, bonking out and left with severe cramp to finish the challenge. This whole situation could have been easily avoided if I'd have just fueled properly. Especially as the runs get longer, our carb sources deplete over time and you could end up in the same position that I was. So to work around this issue, simply don't leave your nutrition in the car. No, seriously, there is a nice little approach that I like to take when fueling for longer runs. Simply put, all I'll do for any run over an hour is take an energy gel every 30 minutes. I'll also bring a running vest with a litre bottle and a carb and electrolyte mix within that. I'll leave the amounts in the description for you below. And while you're down there, you might also want to check out my free 14 day training. I've put together a series of 14 YouTube videos to uncover all the hidden secrets about running and strength training. You can avoid all the mistakes I made as a beginner, and trust me, there's a lot. If you do want to check it out, just click the first link in the description. Okay, finally, what works for me might not work for you. And you hear this absolutely everywhere, and that's for good reason. I've tried all sorts of diets that people have claimed work incredibly well for them, but this is just due down to the fact that we're all different. There isn't really a one size fits all approach with nutrition. I actually coach a client myself who finds keto to be the best strategy in terms of performance. And if that resonates with anyone else watching this video, then great for you. Nutrition is all about testing your individual body to see what you do and don't like to train on. So for my biggest final tip, just get out there and experiment with nutrition. You never know if that diet that you try is going to be a game changer. Just remember to use your common sense and don't try something ridiculous like an all water diet. So now you've got the nutrition basics, let's get your training plan in order. Check out this video next to figure out how to do exactly that. I'll see you in the next one.